Can we see down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we talk about it? Hey everybody and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now today we are here with a quick dope discussion and what I want to highlight is three reasons why women avoid men with power. Now I already know that this sounds a little sketchy, right? Because we do live in this society to where a lot of women would make the bold claim of wanting a man with power, right? We need men that are in control. We need men that are building. We need men that have their lives together, right? But in all actuality, you guys, when those same females are presented with a man with power, they are oftentimes uh, intimidated by that guy or they find an issue with the fact that, and this is the first thing on our list, they can't dominate that guy, okay? So the first thing that we have on our list as a reason why a lot of women can avoid men with power is because they find it very difficult to dominate that type of man. Now, why is this? This is because a man with power does not need said woman to be a part of his life. He does not need her to help him to navigate. He does not need her to help him to be able to survive and thrive. He does not need her to eat, right? He doesn't need her for shelter. He has everything solidified on his own. And due to a lot of females today being highly insecure, when it comes to men with options, this could really make them shy away from even wanting to deal with a, a man that has power because, again, you do not need me. I need a man that I know I have in the bag. And if I know this guy has a lot going on for himself and he has options and stuff of that sort and I cannot dominate him, a.k.a. control him, right, I'm not really wanting to get involved with that. Because at any given time, I feel like that man can replace me, that man can leave me, that man can uh, have some kind of leverage over me. And a lot of females, they just do not want to deal with that. This is why you can see a lot of females out here dealing with men that are way beneath, quote unquote, them financially or beneath them lifestyle wise or career wise or whatever case it may be, right? Um, because when it comes to those type of guys, you look, I have dominance over them. This man needs me, right? And what I just say earlier, a lot of these females up today are highly insecure. They feel like they are not um, top tier, right? And so since I feel like I'm not top tier, I know once again I can be replaced. I don't want a man that can easily replace me. I don't want a man that is going to essentially have me have to work for the perks. I don't want to be in a position to where I essentially need this man. I have to show and prove my value to this man. No, I need him to do that for me. So not only are we highly insecure today, I'm going to be honest, a lot of females are just extremely insecure, but they also have humongous egos as well. 
And that's a deadly combination. Being insecure with a big ego, I know it sounds contradictory, but that is the makeup of a lot of females of today, right? And so I don't want to be in a position to where I feel less than the man that I'm with. I have to be the prize. I have to be the reason that he is able to breathe. He is able to move around. He is able to uh, live the life that he's able to live. It's all through me. It's all because of me, right? So that is a reason why a lot of women can avoid men that have power is because ultimately I can't dominate you. You have the leverage. You have the power. You have the control. You are able to dictate what goes on around here. Because again, you are the one that has all the necessary tools. You are the one that has all of the access. And again, this is your show. A lot of females cannot handle that. I need to be the one that is the main character in every story, right? I'm the one that, again, dominates. I do not want a man that can dominate me. And I know it, it, it sounds weird. It sounds like it goes against female nature because it does. But look, you guys, you got to understand the climate. We live in a world to where everything is very backwards, we are out of our natural organic states, right? This is why I call a lot of these females GMO, genetically modified modern day, right? It's in a female's nature to look for a man that is empowered, to look for a man that can dominate. But due to us being out of our natural organic states, being warped, we'll go for a guy that does not have a lot going on for him just because I know I can dominate and control him. And again, this is a reason why women will avoid men with power. We want to be able to dominate. But let's go ahead and move head along to the second thing on our list as far as a reason why women avoid men with power. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and move head along to the second thing that we have on our list as far as a reason why a lot of women of today will avoid a man with power. And the second thing that we have on our list is he is too wise to fall for her manipulation tactics. Okay. Now, when a man places himself in a position of power and authority, that is not by chance. That is not by happenstance. This is because you are dealing with a man that is wise and intelligent. You are dealing with a man that knows life. He knows how to maneuver. He knows how to place himself in certain positions to have um, some kind of footing. He has some kind of, again, dominance, uh, things of that sort. Again, this is not by chance. This is all by being calculated, being wise, being intelligent, and being able to peep game and scope things out that are not beneficial or conducive to you having power, right? So when it comes to men with power, nine times out of 10, that man is also equipped with knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So if you're dealing with that type of man, he's going to be able to scope out any mind games, any manipulative tactics from a mile away. He's already two and three uh, steps ahead of you as far as what you're trying to do. Again, these men are thorough. These men are very calculated. They're very observant. And with a lot of these females of today wanting to place themselves in certain positions of dominance, like we said in number one, and uh, have certain leverage and control, I'm not really going to be able to pull the wool over your eyes like I would want to, like I would like to. But when it comes to a guy that is maybe not in a position of power, a guy that is not in this position to where he has some kind of leverage, dominance, um, I don't know if he'll be able to really peep game on what I'm doing right away. 
if at all. But a powerful man, again, he didn't get there by accident. This is by him being able to use his mind, being able to analyze situations, scope them out, and again, maneuver through or around them. And again, how can I, as a woman that is trying to dominate, as a woman that is trying to gain some kind of power and control and leverage, how can I really be able to finesse this guy the way that I would like to? I probably won't be able to, okay? And since, since I won't be able to do it at all or in the way or to the extent that I would like to, I would just rather avoid that type of guy altogether, you know? Because, again, I'm not going to really be able to have my way, right? So that is also a reason why women will avoid men with power. Um, you'll be able to peep game on me, scope out my manipulation tactics and I won't be able to finesse how I would like to finesse. But let's move ahead along to the last and final thing on our list. And the last and final thing on our list as far as a reason why women avoid men with power is he does not need to rely on her. Now, this ties back into what we said earlier in number one as far as she cannot dominate him. But I really wanted to drive home the fact of a lot of these females, they need for a man to heavily rely on them. That way, they know that this man is not going to go anywhere. You know? And not only that, I can also get this type of man to bend to my will. If you are relying on me to eat, to have food and shelter, to have clothing, to be able to uh, navigate your world, right? I'm going to be able to dangle that carrot over you and get you to do whatever the hell I tell you to do. Why? Because you need me. Without me, you don't have a place to stay. Without me, you're not able to really think and navigate this world. Without me... You have nothing. And so when a man is in that type of position to where uh, he does not have any power, you know, you're going to really rely on her for your every little move. And again, I can use that to my benefit. I'm going to be able to tell you what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Why? Because you need me. You're relying on me. You're depending on me. And if you don't do it, there's going to be consequences. Whereas a man that is in a position of power, you can do whatever the hell that you want to do. Whenever you find something to not be beneficial for you or whenever you see something that is not really in alignment to or with rather what you believe in or what you want to do, you can say, hell no. You can say, oh no, that, that, that doesn't work for me. That's, that's not something that I see suitable for me to do. That's not wise for me to do. No. Essentially, you can tell a woman no, right? When a, when a man is in a position of power, you can tell a woman no whenever you want to. Because, again, you don't need her. In most instances, that woman needs you. She needs you for food, shelter, clothing. She needs you to help her navigate the world, Right? And so when it comes to guys that have power, you know, I can't get over. I can't have my way. I can't get you to bend to my will at any given time. Because, again, at any given time, you can do away with me. But if you're relying on me, then, you know, you're going to have to do whatever I, I want you to do. Because after all, hey, there's going to be consequences behind this. Right? So... These are some reasons why women can't avoid men with power. Now, there's plenty of other reasons as to why women also avoid men with power. I would like for you guys to drop those down below, you know, if you find some other uh, reasons why uh, women are also avoiding men of power. Let us know your thoughts, your opinions, you know, down below. But these are just some reasons why I uh, believe a lot of women 
avoid men with power, okay? And so, again, y'all, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, let me know. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? And once again, let me also know your reasons why women avoid men with power, and I'll see you guys in the next dope discussion, all right? Much love to my crown heads, and peace.